Uh, it's been a lot of stress, obviously, over the last couple of days, obviously doing a marathon myself and that, but at the end of the day, it's not just about me, obviously it's about the boys and that, and just getting out there as much as I want to win it, as long as they enjoy themselves, obviously only two years together, so like I said, it's a massive achievement to even get to a cup final, so win or lose, I'll still be happy with them anyway. Um, yeah, basically, so, I mean, we've had, you know, not the best of seasons, but everything rides on this today now. Yeah. <laughs> the nerves are kicking in. <laughs> what well, I think mainly at the start of the season we had a obviously a lot of players out injured and that like pre season we had a good little obviously great pre season. We beat teams like Tilbury, reserves and that, so it was a good pre season and then come season a lot of players got injured and whatnot and I think that sort of slumped us in the league a bit and when it comes to the cup obviously people's a bit more up for it because they felt like we even reached another semi-final do you see what I mean so cup games it was like everyone was turning up but the league games just knowing where we was in the league brought down on obviously things and that and I think that's why we just couldn't pick ourselves back up in the league yeah. uh, sport the morale down a bit didn't it but yeah of course um, but cup final hopefully <laughs> we get a cup obviously a win today and that Hopefully we can forget about the league and go on to next season and fully focus on obviously getting promotion again back and maybe obviously two cup finals hopefully next year. Any particular player that you know, which you were looking at for today from your side? Uh, me personally, I'm not about individuals, it's a team effort, do you see what I mean? At the end of the day, they're never that Stein even to the fire there on the subs, everyone's got a part to play at the end of the day, so I wouldn't personally pick out any of my players because I know on their day any single one of them can do a good enough job. Any way that you might be playing? Might be playing. The uh, main thing, obviously, <laughs> against a team like Corona is they're quite physical, so we've got to make sure we're not the biggest of CF teams in that, so we've got to make sure we match that. Do you see what I mean? Even if it's being a bit dirty and that, obviously, in a clean way, but we've got to make sure, obviously, Solid we, don't, we don't get bullied at the end of the day, because if we start getting bullied, they'll start playing football, and that's what we can't do. Hopefully, kick the ball first half, come second half, we can look to obviously use our fresh legs and that because we've got a bit more pace over them so hopefully second half we can use that on them and hopefully get two or three goals and finish them off and have you pick it up, okay? enjoy yourselves okay? this, get all the nerves out now yeah don't stress don't worry have your banter have fun now i promise you when you're playing your game it will literally just flow all right you'll enjoy it flow i guarantee you you'll score goals and win games Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to do a nice little dynamic warm up here. Then we'll get you off into two groups, one into the defenders. You're going to go over there, which is going to be just a bit of header in. So just getting up nice and early, winning them headers, getting in that band. And the rest of you lot will do a little bit of agility work. Then once that's done, and so the goalkeeper will go and do his bit, then we're going to go live into this bit area here, which is just going to be splitting it up into two teams. And Right. Is that cool with everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.